This morning, the Braves have made a trade to acquire right-handed pitcher Pierce Johnson from the Colorado Rockies in exchange for two right-handed pitching prospects, Victor Vodnik and Tanner Gordon. The Braves also made a trade for left-handed pitcher Taylor Hearn with the Rangers in exchange for cash considerations. First up, the big headliner trade of this video, Pierce Johnson. Now, like Shintaro Fujinami, let's not look at his main stats as a big worrisome issue here. Pierce Johnson this season in 43 games has pitched 39 innings, has a 6 ERA with 58 strikeouts and a 1.846 whip. However, that was mainly in the closers role. He's fared much better since being pulled out of the closers role with a 3.6 ERA in 15 innings, striking out 36.2% of those batters. Going more in depth, when we just go back two seasons to 2021, Pierce Johnson for the Padres pitched a 3.22 ERA and 58 and two-thirds innings pitched and struck out 77 batters. He owned a 1.261 whip. Pierce Johnson's home run numbers have spiked quite a bit, but he's also pitching in Colorado. He has a career-high 1.6 home runs per nine, whereas last year he had a .6, and the two years before that he had a .9 home run. The Braves are looking to get a right-handed pitcher with swing and miss stuff to help their bullpen, which has struggled quite mightily this season. Pierce Johnson signed a one-year $5 million deal with the Rockies this offseason, so he'll be a free agent after this year. The return for the Rockies is actually quite good, which is a good sign for the relief pitching market. The Rockies got right-handed pitcher Victor Vodnik, who's ranked number 10 in the Braves system, and Tanner Gordon, who is ranked number 26 in the Braves organization. Vodnik is 23 years old, and his scouting grades have a 65 fastball, 40 slider, 60 changeup, 45 control, with an overall of 40. This season in, in AA, he's pitched 40 and two-thirds innings pitch and holds a 3.10 ERA with 56 strikeouts in those innings. Tanner Gordon, on the other hand, in a mix between AA and AAA, has a 5.86 ERA in 86 innings as a starting pitcher and struck out 76 batters. His scouting grades have him at a 55 fastball, 45 slider, 45 changeup, 50 control with an overall of 40. The big return is Victor Vodnik for the Rockies, but the Rockies are doing something smart here. They signed a one-year deal for a reliever, and they get two prospects that will likely be ranked in their top 30 of the organization, both pitching prospects. We know in Colorado it's hard to attract pitchers, so if you can get prospects that are pitchers in your organization, it is a really, really good sign. Quickly, we'll mention Taylor here, and he's never been something too crazy. He hasn't pitched all that much this year, only seven innings, 10.29 ERA. The previous two seasons, 100 innings in each, 4.66 and 5.13 ERA. Nothing incredibly special, 92, 97 strikeouts. Just a lefty with options, I believe. So, Hearn is going to be just another reliever in the Braves that they're going to hopefully try and turn around for them. Overall, I think the winner and loser of this trade is going to be the Colorado Rockies. I really like what they did here. They get two pitchers, especially one in the top 10 of the Braves system, for a team that plays in Colorado and likely doesn't get a whole lot of pitching prospects, I really like the return for Pierce Johnson, who did have a 6 ERA this season, but has been much better outside of the closers role. And for the Braves, I think you didn't make a bad trade. I think Pierce Johnson is a step in the right direction. We saw what they did last year. They made a bunch of smaller trades for the relievers, and they paid out really well. So I think the Braves... I also like what they did, but not as much. I think the Braves, they're going to get a C-plus on this trade. Uh, I think Pierce Johnson, if they're able to convert him back to San Diego form, has a lot of potential. The Rockies, I also give you a B-plus in this trade. You get two prospects for a one-year deal. Great job selling. Overall, let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. As news comes out, videos come out as well. As long as I'm not at work, if I'm at work, expect them the next day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.